Welcome to East Lothian, a hidden gem of South East Scotland. I'm currently in Dunbar, the town best known as the birthplace of influential conservationist, writer and naturalist John Muir. Come and join me for the next few days of exploring this lesser known but nonetheless spectacular region of Scotland. From exploring on foot, on two wheels or even on the water, this small region is packed with opportunities to get outdoors. There's over 40 miles of pristine coastline and globally significant marine wildlife and all of this is just down the road from Edinburgh. I tested my balance on Fox Lake Adventures ropes course over water and was grateful for the sunshine when I took an inevitable plunge. A short journey away from the coast took me to Whittida Water Sports Centre, a tranquil reservoir nestled amongst the rolling Lammermuir Hills where I spent a glorious few hours kayaking on the glassy water. Next on the agenda was a morning of exploring the coastline on a stand-up paddleboard. Wetsuits on, we paddled along sandy beaches and past craggy cliffs. Returning to the Lammermuirs, I set out on a gravel bike to ride the historic Herring Road, once used by ancient traders bringing fish inland from the coast. Loving life on two wheels, next up was pedalling a section of the 62km Go East Lothian Trail. Then it was time to swap the wheels for boots. East Lothian may be famed for its stunning coastline and miles of sandy beaches, but head slightly inland and you've got just as breathtaking hiking in the Lammermuirs. Adventures are more fun when you're properly fuelled and I was spoilt for choice of where to go. Delicious local produce, freshly baked goods, amazing coffee, the options are endless. There's a range of accommodation to suit everyone's budget. My final night in East Lothian was spent in an off-grid cabin hideaway, tucked behind the dunes. Sitting by the fire and listening to the waves crashing against the beach that evening was the perfect peaceful ending to an adventure-filled few days in East Lothian. <laughs>